Let's talk about vocal processing, vocal effects, vocal chains, some do's and don'ts in order to get your vocal sounding as good as possible. I'm Keith from No Label, No Producer, NoLimits.com. Let's dive right in. Okay, the song we're using for today's demo is No Place Like Home for the holidays. It's a Christmas classic that I did at the end of last year just for fun. I threw it together quite quickly. The techniques that we use here will be applicable to multiple genres. There's no specific death metal compression. What I show you here will work for what you do. Let's listen to a bit of it here and see what we're dealing with. From Atlantic to Pacific G. The traffic is terrific. Well, there's no place like home for the holidays. Cause no matter. Let's take a look at the plugins I used in the effects chain on the vocal in order. First is Melodyne for pitch correction and EQ, a compressor, which is an 1176 clone from Toucan Studios, an LA2A clone from Toucan, an EQ again, Reek and a de -esser. Let's look at Melodyne first. So this was a project I wanted to do quickly. I don't typically use Melodyne, but I have it, and uh, I wanted to learn to use it a little bit better, so I pulled it out for this particular song. I'm not sure how much pitch correction I did, so let's listen to a section with pitch correction on and then off. I met a man who lived in Tennessee and he was looking for Pennsylvania. I met a man who lived in Tennessee, and he was looking for Pennsylvania. So this is obviously a little bit pitchy here, but this was a Christmas song for fun. I didn't really go over it with a fine tooth cone. At any rate, any tuning you do is probably going to be near the front of the signal chain because you don't want to, for instance, send out of pitch vocals to reverb and then feed that out of pitch reverb back into your mix. Next up is Reek, which is an EQ that's free and it's part of the packages you can download for Reaper. Now, my philosophy with EQ is to do corrective EQ before you compress. So if you have a vocal that's out of balance, it has too much low end or something, you don't want to deal with that when you're compressing. You want to take the low end out so that the vocal signal hits the compressor more evenly. So you can see what I did here is mostly roll off low end. In fact, all the way up to about 1K, I've got some rolled out. And there's a reason for that. There's not much useful in vocals below 80 or 100 hertz or even higher for some higher vocals. In addition to that, I'm singing in an untreated room, so I want to emphasize the direct sound into the microphone as opposed to the reverberated sound from the untreated room, which might not sound very good. So I sing closer to the microphone than I normally would in a nice treated room. And that means, since this is a cardioid microphone, that means I have the proximity effect. In other words, it's a little bassier, so I have to roll off some additional bass to make it work. And this particular mic combo with my voice has a tendency to be a little bit mid-rangey, so I pulled some of that out as well. And so this is corrective EQ, which I typically do before the compressor. I also added a little bit of presence and some high-end lift. This is something I might normally do more of after the compressor, but for some reason I decided to do it before the compressors in this case. Let's take a listen to a section of the song with the EQ and without. I met a man who lived in Tennessee And he was looking for Pennsylvania I met a man who lived in Tennessee And he was looking for Pennsylvania All right, now let's do that with the vocal soloed. I met a man who lived in Tennessee And he was looking for Pennsylvania And some homemade pumpkin pie 
From Pennsylvania, folks are traveling down the sunny Dixie shores. Next in line is the NC-76B from Toucan Studios, and it's designed to emulate an 1176, a very famous compressor. And it's got a fast attack and release, so its job is just to catch the peaks of the vocals, the very loudest parts, and bring them down. You probably won't hear it much. I met a man who lived in Tennessee, and he was looking for Pennsylvania and some homemade pumpkin pie. From Pennsylvania, folks are traveling down the sunny Dixie shores. From Atlantic to Pacific G, the traffic is terrific. Well, there's no place like home. So that just takes off the peaks. Next up is the LA-1A, which is again from Toucan, which I think is a pun. It's an emulation of an LA-2A. I dug into this one a little bit. It's a little bit slower compressor. It's designed to even out the overall level of the vocals. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Cause no matter how far away you roam, when you pine for the sunshine of a friendly case. Now, in this case, if I were to do this again, I would probably dig into that one just a little bit less. I think it's over compressing just a little bit. So this is very typical for me. EQ, compressor that's a little bit more like a limiter, a compressor to even out the overall volume. And now I EQ again. I'm using Reek again. And as you can see, I dug some out below about 50 hertz and a little bit more low mids out. And then again, a presence push at about 6K. Then we have a de -esser, and that is designed just to cut the tops off of some of the harshest S's. Let's find a good spot for that one. I met a man who lived in Tennessee and he was looking for Pennsylvania. You can see on that Pennsylvania. For Pennsylvania. I'm taking off several dB here. I don't know what the scale is on this, but we're up to the yellow here. Pennsylvania folks are traveling down the sunny Dixie Shore. Dixie Shores, I'm taking quite a bit off of right there. Dixie Shores. Dixie Shores. Now, if I had to do this again, I would probably turn the threshold up just a little bit. I'm catching too much of the standard notes, the notes with no sibilance in them. I don't want this to be doing any kind of compression where I'm just singing an ah or an N or an M. I really want it only to kick in when I'm doing a S or a CH or a T, something like that. And as you can see, I'm hitting one green light here. I met a man who lived in even two green lights, so that's a little much. Let's hear that Sunny Dixie Shores without the compressor, and I'll solo it up. Sunny Dixie Shores. Sunny Dixie Shores. Sunny Dixie Shores. Sunny Dixie Shores. As you can hear, it's quite an improvement in the S's. Now, what I would typically do with a mix like this, if I was taking my time with it, is I would find those S's, for instance. Let's take this Shores, and I would turn down that S by splitting it out and pulling it down a few dB. And I'd go through the song and do that with any problematic S's. But this was a quickie, so I slapped a de on there, and I think it did a pretty good job. I hadn't used that de before. Let's hear some of the song with the effects chain completely off and then on, and we'll solo it as well. Shores, from Atlantic to Pacific G, the traffic is terrific. Well, there's no place like home for the holidays. Cause no matter how far away you roam, if you want to be happy in a million ways, but Holiday.
ways you can beat home sweet home. Okay, now let's get into the other effects that I added, the reverb delay and duet. I used sends to send this vocal to, as you can see there, track five verb, track six delay, and track seven duet. Let's talk about those. So for my reverb, I used Lexican, which is from, again, from Toucan, and it's free, works only on Reaper. As you'll notice, I changed the dry wet control to 100% wet. I settled on this big sound. I, I started off with a plate, but I like the big better. It's got tilt on, but I don't really have anything going here in the tilt control. Slight pre-delay, fairly long length. And then after the delay, I put in an EQ. And the reason is you've got a lot of buildup in the low end across the mix, and you really don't need the woo-woo-woo happening in the low end of a reverb just to muddy things up, especially on the sides of your mix. I also don't need the sibilance. We'll take a listen to it here. Jones from Atlantic Perhaps you can hear how that low end roll off cleans up the reverb a little bit. Next up is a delay, and I did something similar to the delay. I used this stock Reaper setting of delay with stereo bounce, again 100% wet. And this just gives me a little ping pong back between the two sides. And also again, I put an EQ on here to roll out the real lows and the real highs. Okay, that gives me a little width to the vocals. Next up is a plugin that I use most of the time on vocals. It's called Duet. And Duet is kind of a detuner kind of thing. As you can see here, it pops up six cents on one side. So that's a very small pitch shift upward. And then six cents to the downward side here. And they're panned left and right. A little bit of delay on each side, 20 milliseconds here, 30 milliseconds here. And uh, th that's it. It just kind of thickens the vocal up. I'll give you a chance to hear it. And you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze. But all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. No EQ on that, although I do send that signal back to the delay and the reverb. So I get a little reverb and delay on that pitch shifted signal. Got a stereo scope up on the stereo master and this straight up and down line means that there is no stereo width information. I'm talking into this in mono and we don't see any spread to the left and right. And typically with your vocal, you do want it to be center. However, we do want a little bit of width, and that's one of the ways that I use Duet, is to give me just a little bit of width in the stereo field. So I have it here, but I have it turned down. I'm going to play a little bit of the vocals, just the vocals, and we will turn Duet up and see what it does to the stereo spread. When you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze, but all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. When you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze, but all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. Okay, you could see there on the stereoscope, it gives it just a little bit of spread. And of course, the reverb and delay will give it even more stereo spread. Let's take a listen to that. When you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze, but all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. 
So you've still got most of the information in the center, but you have just a little bit of width and interest added with the verb delay and duet, which is a free plugin. And here's the whole mix to see what it looks like on a stereoscope. When you pine for the sunshine of a friendly case, but all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. So that's what I added to the sins on the vocal reverb with EQ, delay with EQ, and duet. These are all free plugins. I will link to them below. So let's hear a bit of the vocal with no effects and a bit of the vocal with effects. And you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze, but all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. And you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze, but all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. Now here is with no effects on the effects chain, and we're not sending to any effects either. And you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze. And now with everything. And you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze. And now in the mix. And you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze. But all the days you can't beat home, sweet home. As always, if you're finding this content valuable, like, subscribe, share, comment. Otherwise, you'll miss out on future updates. Well, that's Vocal Chains in a nutshell. I'm Keith from NoLabelNoProducerNoLimits.com. We'll see you next time.